guys, what is going on? So today we're gonna to be headed over to Jeff Ashen's warehouse. Uh, we're gonna hang out with Jeff. I believe a certain package has arrived. So let's go check it out. Uh, we might also be working on the Cobra, do a wideband um, and get this X-Pipe replaced because it's actually kind of rattling. Um, but let's go see and let's head over. And of course, you guys know we had to get Starbucks before we start any day. Jeff's. All right, we made it over here. Did you get a haircut? Oh, check that out. It's not the haircut. It's the glasses. I joined the. Oh, I joined the glasses, glasses crew. squad. <laughs> All right, so we just made it over to the warehouse, brought the Cobra over, and uh, we got a package. So I hear. Or, or well, we got to get. It, we got to get it from next door. Three, three packages. Door. Three packages. Weighing that like five thousand thirty pounds. pounds. Yeah. That's just under being able to ship. You can't ship over like 150. I, well, that's you moved my car. Oh shit. Oh shit. Cue the music. It's hot. The car or Both. the warehouse? <laughs> Both. Both. So we got the boxes from UPR. Should be interesting. What's suspension? Unfortunately, these aren't for my car. They're for what car are they for? The Turdzilla. The Turdzilla has some serious suspension. Mods headed its way. Suspension mods. Which one should I open first? The big one. Let's see what's inside. Can he do it one-handed? No, he can't. At least you're a little more careful than Scooter. Damn. Oh, and they got the K-member. Oh, check out the K-member. Damn. Damn, there's some goodies in here. Oh, yeah. I didn't know you were getting a new game member too. Shit. All right, I'm just gonna pause the video and start going through this so I can figure out what's going on here. Yeah, well, maybe unbox them. All right, so here is the suspension. We got the K member kit, A arms. They come with the ball joints. Uh, that's set up for the coilovers that will be coming later. We also have a bump steer kit. Uh, we got spherical bushings, um, steering rack. Uh, Let's see bushings as well we got full length subframe connectors which will need to be welded in we got the torque box reinforcements the control arms with bushings so we got the whole suspension set up ready for the turdzilla uh, we just need the uh, coilovers anything to say about that very exciting the turd is going to be a monster it on will the track. get ready for it Get ready for it. And maybe it won't sway anymore. That's true. Death sway. That's true. Does need the sus suspension upgrade, so uh, we're gonna make that happen. All right, guys, we got the car up on the lift. We're gonna pull the X pipe off so we can bring over two brothers to get a replacement X pipe because this one makes a lot of noise. Oh. All right, Jeff, what did we find to be the issue? Uh, do you have the gasket? The gasket's right there. We'll show them. All right. So we're chasing a rattling noise and a slight possible exhaust leak. And this was the noise. That's the noise. Something similar to that it right was there. driving me crazy. Except imagine exhaust flowing through that and making a consistent Yep, that's noise the noise. Like that. um, so as for the exhaust, we were gonna originally get the X-Pipe replaced at Brothers, um, but unfortunately it looks like our O2 sensor is pretty much seized there. Um, so instead of taking that out and risking getting that stuck, uh, we're actually going to just wait until long tube headers, uh, which I know all of you guys really, really want to see long tube headers on this car. For now, we're just going to fix this setup uh, with just a new gasket up there, and uh, then we'll be good to hit the road. Let's do now it. we're going to call some places and get a gasket. All right, guys, so we just located the part 
Uh, brothers didn't have it. Even Brian, the one and only quad tip, did not have the part. Uh, but we're going to head down to Greenway Ford, which is in like Orlando or something like that, um, to go get the gasket for this, bun this thing back up. It'll be all set. Uh, I'm also going to run, I picked up a wideband you guys saw a few weeks ago. I'm going to run this wideband up and into the car. I don't know if we're actually going to hook up the gauge, but at least the wideband wiring will already be done. Uh, so that's kind of the uh, battle of it. So then I won't need to get under the car. As you can see right here, um, I am going to use one of the rear O2 sensor holes. Uh, since this car is an off-road vehicle, uh, it is a strictly race car, you know, we don't have those catalytic converters. Just kidding. Uh, so, um, since we don't have cats and the rear O2 sensors are off, we can actually run a basically O2 sensor delete um, and then this is going to be our wideband here. Uh, so a lot of people say to run the wideband not there, um, but up here right next to the upper O2. Um, but this is how the car is tuned uh, and there's no issue with this at all. Uh, when it goes on the dyno, the guys typically take out one of the rear O2s, slap their uh, wideband in, and uh, it's all set ready to go. Alright, what are you doing? Uh, we got this guy, a little Stita, spring. Stita clutch spring. So, so it's going to stiffen up the pedal a little bit and give you a little bit more feel. So we'll see how it goes. Things like 18 bucks, so you can't go wrong. We'll give it a shot. All right, what do you guys do here? Vice grip? Yeah, I gotta clamp the uh, spring and pull this bitch out. I don't know if I leave this to, if I have to leave this depressed or if I can pull it out. It's a tight squeeze down here. I hate working under dashes, dude. It fucking sucks because I'm holding the pedal and I gotta try and compress this. So this is easy, but not so easy because of the damn clearance issue of being. I'm telling you, I was under the dash of the Turzilli yesterday. I hated it. I can't fit. Oh, that came right out. Oh, you got it? I think so. Is that it? That's it. Oh. Is she done? She's out. I guess that was as easy as they said. Holy shit. That was fucking cake. Oh yeah, you can see the difference. So. Factory spring? <gasps> Factory spring. New spring. Nice. Nice. Yeah, let's see what happens. Alright, put her in. That's it. That is fucking cake. Alright. Dude. How does she feel? Well, we'll find out. Get that was literally the easiest installation I've ever done. You should have done the challenge this, on that. This is happening like more and more frequently, or frequently where I'm saying that. Alright. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. How does she feel? Huh, it's actually not much stiffer at all. We'll have to drive it to see. It feels... I thought this was supposed to be like significantly, like not a major difference in stiffness, but um, the clutch pedal, pedal feels just as light as it did before, but the engagement point is what's supposed to change. So we'll see once we drive it and see if you can feel the engagement point a little bit better. I didn't have a problem with the factory engagement point, but for 18 bucks, I said, why not try it out? So we'll uh, take it out on the road and see what happens. All right, guys, so we are in the Jeff Mobile. Uh, we're gonna go get the exhaust manifold gasket from Greenway Ford. Um, and Jeff is trying out this new spring. So I guess we'll uh, we'll see, see how that goes. Let's see what happens. All right, first impressions. And it's the Cindy Mobile. Cindy Mobile, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. You gotta get this beast out on the road. All right, give it, give it a go. Get her out on the road, see what happens. Also with the first. the Barton short throw shifter. Love this thing. Ooh, it is a little bit different. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Feels good? Yeah, it actually does feel pretty good. Sick. Wow, doesn't stiffen up the pedal too much. I can tell it's a little bit stiffer, but not drastically. I actually like this. Wow. Smooth. There we go. Gave it the sauce. Yeah. How's that spring? It feels delicious. Absolutely delicious. What does it taste like? <sighs> kind of tastes a little bit sweeter than the factory spring, but you know, you know, kind of delicious. You mean drift car? Bro, drift it's car. a three valve. Drift car. Bro, rev it up, rev it up, car. rev it up. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Three valve. Damn. New drift car. That's it. We're New meeting him car. right now. We're picking it up. All right. It's so sad. We're going to Ford Parts, and we're not going to see the quad tip. But we made it. Yeah, Brian didn't have the part. What's that about? Let's go get it. Slacking, man. Slacking on us. It feels a little bit further out than it previously previously was. I don't know if that's actually the case, but that's just what it feels like to me. So we're gonna test this out over in a little Mexico? place called Mexico. Mexico! We'll just see. Play the music. We'll just see what happens. Play the music. Play the music. Dun, 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 dun. That's, that's something Mexican. I know. I haven't been to a Mexican restaurant in a while. Bro. I mean, we haven't crossed the border yet, so. I mean, once we cross the border, we'll play that music. We'll make it rain. All right. <laughs> For a scooter. Hey, dude, someone these commented. These tires are fucked. <laughs> someone commented and said the new catchphrase should be "Do it for a scooter." <laughs> dude, we should have gotten that guy's reaction. <laughs> All right, so we just put the gasket in there, and we're gonna go ahead and get this X pipe back on the car, and uh, we're also gonna hook up the uh, the Y band or run the wire into the car. All right, guys, so we are just about wrapped up here for tonight. Uh, we started the car. Um, there wasn't exactly a rattle anymore, but now it's leaking, uh, so we actually have to replace the manifold studs. Uh, so we're going to pick up the part tomorrow at Napa. Unfortunately, they're not open. Uh, it's a really simple fix. I just got to replace the studs. Basically, that's the driver's side uh, manifold isn't sealing, um, and that's because the stud backed out a little bit. Uh, we also did run the wideband sensor uh, wire up through the car, around the clutch cable, into the firewall. It's actually in the car, so we can actually get the wideband going tomorrow uh, as well. So continue on tomorrow. All right, guys, so it's day two of working on the Cobra, and uh, we actually decided to go ahead and bring this over to Tyler to go ahead and fix. Uh, we picked up new manifold studs. I'll show you the guys the part number on those. We have to get the manifold studs off, and the best way to do that is most likely gonna be weld a bolt to it and then back it off and since we don't have a welder and i don't have the skills of welding we're going to go head over to tyler barnes on colonial ave in orlando and he's going to go ahead and get this thing fixed so we're going to tick it on over there because it's going to be taken because that side is leaking bad uh, but we'll make it happen all right we got the stud kit the part number is right there just made it over here uh, we're gonna go talk to Tyler get in line and uh, yeah Hey guys, we just finished up at the exhaust shop. Huge shout out to Tyler Barnes and everyone there at the shop at Ice Cold Air Muffler. Uh, they got the manifold stud fixed and they got the rear exhaust fixed. Uh, so we don't have that um, flange rattle that I fixed and we also don't have the issue that I kind of caused. Uh, basically what happened was the nut that we put on uh, before when the nuts backed off um, was the right size but it ended up rusting or 
basically it wasn't set for being outside uh, good hardware uh, so that's why that's a le lesson learned to always use good hardware so they got the set off replaced it with a nap up part and uh, we're ready to roll so let's go do it all right guys so I did go ahead and end up actually uh, completing the wiring for the wideband as you know we routed the sensor through uh, so I just want to update you guys on this uh, so right now I just have it uh, suction cup mounted. I use an iPhone uh, mount. Um, I'm going to do either a gauge pillar pod. I only want like one or two. Um, or I might just do the steering column. Um, but we're going to go test it out. So far it seems to be reading pretty good for idle. Um, somewhere in the 14s for idle. Uh, so let's go test out, see what it does on watt. Um, this uh, is temporary, this little solution. Although I kind of really like the location. Um, so I... I would kind of consider a more permanent location like this because uh, I can see it perfectly. We are going to test out the wide band with a little third gear pull. There's 3000 RPM. Hey guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I know it was kind of interesting, you know, uh, basically turned out trying to fix one issue caused another issue, but you know, that's just working on cars. Um, gladly, we got the gasket fixed, so there's no more of that rattling. Um, and now Tyler fixed the exhaust leak. So huge shout out to Tyler for getting that fixed, because we, I mean, Jeff and I could have maybe gotten that uh, stud off, but I think uh, what ended up happening is I think he ended up welding um, a bolt backing up the studs, and we don't have a welder, and I don't have the welding skill. He went ahead and fixed that, so we're all set. He fixed the leaks. So, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.